Human, what is this, um, Animal Crossing New Horizons? Oh, it's a game where you build up an island using mostly the resources around. Does it involve space travel or interstellar combat? Nope, just relaxing and developing a community on an island resort. I see. What, what's the catch? Just, just play the game. Three weeks later. Human, why are people obsessed with collecting virtual arachnids? All right, Tarantula Island. What, what, what is this Toho project? Oh, it's a bullet hell game series based on our old beliefs. Why is it near impossible? Yeah, that small red dot. That's your hit box. Still seems very hard. It is. Is this how you guys de-stressed? Is it? Human, I have a question about your number system. Be, yeah, go ahead. You say there are even numbers. Yep. And odd numbers. Mm-hmm. And despite them going hand in hand, you humans seem to be only worried about the odds and seem very possessive over them. What? I hear humans in casual and sometimes formal conversation refer to odds and our odds, and it makes me ask, is there a species called odds? H Hello, human? Oh no, I think I broke this one. Human, remember how you told me about flat earthers? Yeah, yeah, what about them? I, I recently learned of the phrase, pride comes before the fall. Could it be possible that these flat earthers could be getting close to their demise? Uh, it's possible, but it's sure it's taking its sweet time. I feel like the only way to get rid of them would be if... If what? Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Never you... You ate my salt lamp and sipped the wax melt up? Yes, it's edible. Why not eat? <laughs> because my vibes. <sighs> oh, I know that sound. Something's bothering you, isn't it, a human? It's just... I can't seem to lose weight no matter how hard I try. You seem healthy enough. I've seen your strenuous workout routine. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. I just don't like the way it makes me look. You know... Most species where I'm from are covered in a hard, strong exoskeleton. What? The hard outer shell protects their vital organs. And when I first saw you humans, I immediately noticed your soft exterior with no hard layer to act as a shield. Where are you going with this? The fat around your midsection cushions your organs, protecting them from harm. It's not much, but it's effective enough. It's meant to be there. It has a job. <laughs> Human, what are you playing? Kirby Planet Robobot. Oh, well, what's that about? Basically, a company called Haltman Works is planning on draining Popstar of its natural resources, so Kirby goes out to stop it and saves his world for the upteenth time. Ah. Huh. You know, I think we have that planet name in our database. Would you like to see? Yes, heck yeah! Can we visit too? Yeah, the gravity and phenomena around that planet is still unexplained. Somehow a pink puffball is eight inches in the surface, then is around the height of a human six-year-old. Is that a no? What do you think? <laughs> human, I must ask you something! Oh, oh, okay, what's up? Why does your species know about the Mayarzaketh? The... the what, the what now? It this! The game you called Metroid, he's known as Craig, correct? E yep. I'm assuming that's the, uh, the, the, how did you say it? Meyarzakef is a very dangerous predator from the planet Kalzik. How dangerous are we talking here? Well, remember that Monster Hunter game you showed me the other day? Yeah. In that one elder dragon beast that could burrow beneath the sand? Den Moron? Yes, that one. Meyarzakef is th th like that, but a thousand times larger. And extremely aggressive! I need to go change. Human, I am looking back at some of your reports for your planet's newspapers, and it seems to describe these UFOs abducting bovines in some of your farms. Uh, that. Yeah, apparently some years back that was a big conspiracy, along with stuff like weird lights in Texas and the Roswell thing I told you about a while back. Oh, so that explains why some of our drones arrived with those creatures aboard. The, the, the what? 
Well, there's UFOs, so I don't know, actually our plants versions of a um, mobile veterinarian. We use these to quickly observe and care livestock on our world. A few decades back, some had their navigation system malfunction and travel off-world. We never got a log until recently. I'm never taking you to Hollywood. Human, why does this Japanese animated television program have multiple- No, 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 no! What is wrong, human? No! You're not telling me that the aliens from Dragon Ball exist! You're not telling me Saiyans are a thing! You're not telling me Frieza is real! You're not telling me the God of Destruction Beerus exists! I was going to say why- Going to ask how the series got species 28941 so accurate. <sighs> Which one is that? Where yeah, green can stretch their limbs long distances, subsist only on water, and produce asexually. Start the ship, we're going to Namek, I'm going to gather the Dragon Balls! Everything you listed does exist too. Wait, what was that? Nothing! On to adventure! <laughs> The man, the myth, the Chad legend. All of this raw stone, beefy power. And now a convenient little squishy package. That's right, ladies, lads, and gentle thems, the plush campaign continues all summer. We have moved on to the next phase with Kevin, the crowd favorite. Look at this man, he's had many forms, but all of them are perfect. Especially this one, look at him. He can hold things for you, like a pencil. Or your dreams. Or your pencil-like dreams. And just like with every makeshift campaign, if we hit the 200 mark, it gets fully funded, and if we don't, you get your money back guaranteed. You, you lose nothing out of this. And if we hit the 200 mark, I'll draw these two working out because I know what you're like, you filthy freaking degenerates. Slash affectionately. So what are you waiting for? You want, a, you want a little guy that's got your back at all times? He'll be there when you need to do your squats. He'll spot you. Just, just, just get this man. Get this man right now. Link below. I'll make him spin for you. Look at him. Look at him go. That's a man right there. Are you just going to lay in bed all day? Would you judge a frog resting atop a lily pad? Would you criticize a flower for enjoying the sun? My dad just walked in and asked me, What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? And left. Next level dad joke, let's go! Ah oh, yes, the third gender. Lefties. Okay, well wait, if you're like a left-handed non-binary person, does that like make you Jesus? How's it work? Oh boy, I gotta commit to the bit on this one. <clears throat> in fourth grade, I was introduced to the concept of run-on sentences by my teacher, and I immediately raised my hand and pointed out that none of the sentences being used as examples were actually grammatically wrong at all, and were just longer than most people can comfortably write slash read. And she made me sit in the corner, and I feel like that shows a lot of my typing style on this hell site. Run-on sentences are ADHD culture. Ugh. Really don't like using those punctuations, Tumblr user sex haver. If JG Wentworth doesn't stand for Jared Gerald Wentworth, then what is even the point of life? How could I trust him to give him my money that I need right now? Star Wars has three types of guys. Fump Gizo from the Wumfly system, stab a bad guy man, and Chris. Star Wars heritage post. Hmm. At the press of a button. Bert will send you his bees. Also, can we point out how freaking dystopic this thing is? This is a button you buy to buy the product faster. Why? Can, can I be serious for a moment? I really can't believe how many people on here, especially leftists, support Marx. The man was incredibly problematic. I mean... Do you even remember when he tricked Kirby into summoning Galactic Nova so he could take over Planet Popstar? Or do you just not care? Gotcha. Wizard. Oh, I like your goblin detecting sword. That's funny. Goblin who thought they just had a really cool glowing sword. My what now? The moral of Matilda is that if you're autistic enough, you can destroy your enemies with your mind. You have 
Mento, Illinois. Ah, fuck. I think I'm Nero Di Vermont, too. Leaving this in the tags was a mistake, dire human! You know, you could follow the genuinely funny poster who's going to be gone in six months. Or you could follow me, the mediocre to okayish poster who's been on Tumblr for like 11 and a half years and will be here until the flames finally reach and destroy the Dana Center within our precious memories. Or actually, you could just, you could follow us both. Who, who you follow isn't really one or the other type thing. Follow me more for more Tumblr.com tips. You know what you gotta do? You gotta do the like, comment, and subscribe bit. Got yeah, ya. Yeah. Tumblr being all adults nowadays is so funny because my mutuals are either unemployed chain smokers or Ezra, bioengineering PhD candidate at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. One of the important lessons to learn about adult life is that the gap between unemployed chain smoker and a bioengineering PhD candidate is actually not that large. In between them, there's a content creator just trying to sell these little squishy pieces of merchandise that you could get in the link below, what? It's called irony poisoning because it makes you sick in the head. Like, yeah, man, sorry for caring about this thing I like too much. It would have been much cooler if I pretended to not give a shit about anything at all, actually. This makes me better than everyone who expresses feelings, which are inherently a sign of weakness, as you already know. Cause of death. Who gives a shit? Cause of death. Any fucking business. Cause of death. Died. I would have ended it there, but there's one even funnier after that. Cause of death. Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy? You know what I haven't done in a while? That I tried to do, and it kind of just stopped for a second? Amazon reviews. We need some fitting colors here for that, aren't we? Yeah, now what's a good color scheme for a big old company that sells a lot of things and makes a lot of money? <coughs> yeah, there we go. My transformation is complete. It is day 87, and the horses have accepted me as one of their own. I have grown to understand and respect their gentle ways. I question everything I once knew and fear I am no longer capable of following through my primary objective. I know that those who sent me will not relent. They will send others in my place. But we will be ready. The perfect driving instructor. She hangs above my mirror and judges me while I drive. I live in fear of failing to use a turn signal, otherwise she might declare vengeance upon me. She's absolutely adorable, and I highly recommend, especially for any new drivers. That'd be so funny if, like, you show it to a friend, and they're like, Oh, that's so cute. What does she actually look like? And you get flashbanged with this. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hoyleverse rerunner banner, I know you can. Mama warned me about women like you. I was hoping she was right. It drove me crazy. I'd forgotten the pain of listening to bad recorder playing, but this brought it all back. There's nothing wrong with the product. It's solid and functional. I'm keen to get the offspring interested in music and listening to the torturous sounds of a badly played recorder is the price I have to pay. I am suffering as many parents have suffered before me. I can only hope he goes on to fame and fortune and doesn't turn into an asshat and puts me in a good nursing home. Behold, the harbinger of so many badly played hot cross buns. <laughs> an excellent cautionary reminder for those studying genetics. I bought this gift for my daughter who is studying genetics at university. I wanted to remember just what kind of power she's dealing with. She absolutely loves it and displays it prominently in her dorm. Quality materials, and just awesome to behold. It will be the conversation piece that keeps on giving. Now, now, why are we afraid of this? I, for one, would welcome the idea of the hork. I love it! I'd buy ten more! Some! Wait for it, 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 don't do anything, don't do anything, don't do anything, wait for it! A very happy floof. Hey, wait a minute, this is the Pokemon website, what is this? Oh well. Big floof is very floof. I named it Marshmallow to represent the level of floof within this floofy floof. Highly recommend this for extra floof. 
I'm telling you, this Marie dumped all of its stats and its flu fat tributes. Marshmallow is the GOAT. Not as in the goat, but as in the goat, because Mareep is, is is actually a sheep. Very floof. Get yourself some happy floof. It's not just for ladies. Oh, here we go. My wife bought this for our pregnancy announcement, and it was too big. I saw my opportunity and knew what I had to do. This dress does it all. You want to feel pretty? Check. Majestic? Sure. Pregnant? Of course. Hot? It's lit fam. I'd rate this a perfect 5 out of 5. I'm not sure how it works for the ladies, but it made me feel like a queen. I am not at all worried about keeping my coin that duplicates into two coins every hour in an enclosed space. What is nuclear fission? Oh no. Alright, stop making jokes. Comedy peaked with Phineas and Ferb. And stop making songs. Music also peaked with Phineas and Ferb. Aren't Phineas and Ferb a little young to be the peak of both the music and comedic industries? Yes. Yes, they are. And yet here we are. Welcome back to Game Changer, the only game show where the game changes every show. Players, you will notice that we're standing in a prison and that some of you have been designated as guards, while the rest of you are prisoners. Over the next few months, you- Me playing my next D&D character like- Do I- do I know him? No. I've committed a lot of crimes, are we sure? Anyone. Hey. Ask about a special interest of mine. Me. Becomes an unskippable cutscene. All good, I get to explain this to you. You will regret this. In the sky. Straight stork in it. And by it, well, <laughs> let's just say. The bed. Stroking the sword while lamenting the social realities. Engraved by Shen Jianzhou, Ming Dynasty. Who up stroking their sword while lamenting the social realities? Can Grace's new six-day work week be a model for others? Hey, what if I actually fucking shot you? My partner doesn't use pet names nearly as much as I do. Which is very funny, because I will crack my gay little knuckles and say some shit like, Good morning, my sun and moon, my loveliest boy, my baby, my sweetheart, my darling dearest. And he will reply, Hello, Adrian. Wait, babe, before we move on, I need to check every barrel in this room to check for hidden items. See, it's important. It's important, you never know. Broke. Yeah, Snickers have a dick vein. Woke. Dicks have a Snicker vein. <laughs> Me. If I become the evil overlord, I will never harm my minions. Five years later, highly throwable imp. <laughs> Me. Hmm. The imp wants to be thrown, throw the imp. Consider, it's enrichment for them. You ever thrown a little kid repeatedly onto a couch or a bed or a trampoline and become cooler than God to them? No, it's fine, they like being thrown! It's perfectly reasonable to toss around some of your minions, but after a certain percentage of your own minions destroyed, it's fiscally irresponsible. Hey, just checking in with the Chuckable Imp Union. How's negotiations going? It's really up in the air right now. Uh... You're not like the other girls, the boy said. Oh, actually, most of us are like this, the girl said comfortably as she shifted back to her true dragon form and ate him. The end. Smile. Oh, hello! If you're seeing this, oh boy, does the economy love me. And by that, I mean it wants to hurt me and everything I love and know. So I've been on YouTube for a very, very long time, and I've tried to do multiple things across all platforms. You've seen me do it, and seen me struggle, and be mad, and miserable, and wish I never did this in the first place. After some looking into it, understanding how it works, I'm still kind of trying to figure it out, but I decided it was time to turn on memberships. And it's only one. 99 cents a month. I'm not doing anything more expensive than that because holy crap if I'm suffering the economy Then I'm sure it's not just me I also wanted to make it seem like I was not gonna like do crazy things like put like videos behind paywalls or anything like that It's just very simple. You get the badge that it falls over the year. You get emotes to use in live chats one thing I might have to like set up though uh, is going forward with the mega binges uh, we will make it members only chat not just to do that, but just to keep 
you know, certain commentary out of the way. I, I think it bit me in the butt recently. But that's the only bigger thing. Apart from that, the only difference between you being a holy bingus and a regular bingus is the holy bingus gets the, the, the shiny badges and, and the emotes. I don't know, like, maybe a proud dad hug or a mom hug for me or her, whichever you prefer. That said, thank you all so much. This is the only big advertising video I'm ever gonna do on this at this point. If you see the button and you wanna support me in the future, I'll greatly appreciate it. And it would be kind of nuts, cause like if, <laughs> like if winning the lottery, if like all of you hit like the membership button, I could just, I, I could just retire and just do this all the time. But that would just be crazy. <laughs>